Why are they making you bec become soldiers in the draft in the first place? I'm going to tell you why. Because the Son of Man is coming soon. Jesus Christ is coming soon for justice of black and Hispanics and Native Indians. That's what Jesus Christ is going to do. And give me Psalms 137. And I'm coming out here, I'm ashamed that they had to have a draft in the first place. All you white people, all you liberals, you Democrats, you Republicans, aren't you patriots? Don't you believe in the American dream? Then why do they have to have a draft? You should be standing in line, standing in line to serve your country. But once again, white people have to rely on black and Hispanics to make America a superpower. Why you go and invest in Wall Street, invest in the Bitcoin, invest in Tesla. You do all that, man. You live in mansions, live in Beverly Hills. You live on the good side of Austin. Well, black and Hispanics, they're building your dream. They're building your empire. They're going into your military to give you a chance at life, to let your kids have a chance at going to Harvard, Yale. While our kids, our kids, our sons, even our daughters, the only thing they have for them is going into the United States military. Give me that scripture, you got it? Verse 1. Psalm 137, verse 1. By the rivers of Babylon, there we sit down. Yeah, we wept. When we remember Zion. Yeah, who is who's this? This is David. We was carried away in Babylon, a great nation. Babylon was so beautiful, so rich, so strong. And the Israelites was taken captive. Just like black and Hispanics here in America. America is so strong. America is so powerful. All the freedom, the free will America offers. Black and Hispanics, we here in poverty. Black and Hispanics, we here oppressed. Black and Hispanics, we on drugs, welfare, fighting for a chance to survive, fighting for a chance to get what white people have, and we believed in it. See, David was a man, a man of the Lord's own heart, and he was weeping in the rivers of Babylon because he knew this was not something to celebrate. Now, thousands of years later, the same people, David's own kinsmen, own brothers, own sisters, and celebrating their captivity here in America. You don't believe me? They just had a Juneteenth festival. Can you believe that? Can you believe slaves celebrating their freedom in the land of their captivity? I can't believe that. I can't believe it. A place where you're still captive, yet you're celebrating what? You're still celebrating? You ain't had to, you, you know, you didn't get, uh, your children didn't get uh, shipped off? That's what, you, that's what you celebrated? That's, that's interesting to me because we just watch the news and they got the draft. See, you think because nobody's whooping you in your back, you think you're not a slave no more. And you think since you're not on that auction block, you ain't no slave no more. But that auction block still exists. All jokes are sad. You know how niggas be like, I'm this and that for life. Bro. This and that for life. You don't receive her what? Her blood! In the SUPK, we ain't worried about the coronavirus. How many of us do you see with masks on? How many of us do you see out here afraid with gloves on? Uh. 144 the rebel. The world turned its back on me. I'm a cripple. We got soldiers. He got soldiers, but I got no one. Don't sit here, come to me. I think I'm hot, bro. What's my goodness? It's the line. Cross the fucking line. Otherwise, get the fuck out of here. Run, run, run. Please forgive me for the time that I did. It brings us together. Nosotros somos una nación. Nosotros somos la misma gente. Nosotros. El mundo sepa que nuestros hermanos negros y hermanos moranos ya no estarán separados, pero se unirán para hacer grandes cosas por todos las doce tribu tribu pereras de Israel. Come, yes, you